Yo guys, what is going on? Bobby here, and today I actually have an amazing, amazing video. Now, the Brawl Ball video could have been released today, but if I were to release it today, this video would never be able to get released, and I think this video 100% has to be released. I mean, there is no way that I could have this and just not have it recorded. If I were to do, if I were to finish the Brawl Ball video today, then I would have to play a couple games, and I'd have to take a little bit of time on editing, on just making sure everything is properly done, and this video just, you know, it would never, ever, ever get released, and that would be a shame if I could never share the experience that I had last night with you guys. So last night, I had two amazing, amazing sets. Like, absolutely god tier. Um, two of probably my top three, even most competitive sets of all time um, when it comes to competitive play. So what we did yesterday was we faced IX Gaming. I'm not going to say if we won or if we lost, but this is probably definitely the best set. Um, the other one was also really good, and I do want to share it with you. Except a lot of it, I it's just the replay function isn't available, and the the, the most climax part of the other thing, um, of the other one, just the replay isn't there. And I, I I want to share with you guys what happened. So I think at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you the results of everything. But what we're basically doing is going up against IX Gaming, which which consists of Crying Man slash and Jack Cheppo. I mean, you guys know them all extremely well, especially Jack Cheppo. He's my old teammate. You guys absolutely love him. You think he's you guys just love him. You guys think he's a god player. He's so good. So it's basically those three against myself, OG, and Tyrant. Um, us and IX are probably viewed as the two best teams, at least in North America. Um, it's, I don't know, it's just we have an, an insane rivalry. Um, it started off a while ago. Um, huge creds to IX. They beat us when we formed our team in week one of uh sorry of the qualifiers for north america and then they beat us again in week three so they were two and zero against us going into the set um our team has never played together before that so we were a lot more rusty there but there are still very few teams that even while we are rusty and don't have good chemistry that's able to beat us and it, they didn't just beat us they 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 truly did crush us so huge shout outs to them i know i didn't post those videos um and i do sometimes post my losses except when it's just uncompetitive and the gameplay isn't good i don't like to post it same thing when i win if i win i win like four nothing against a, a bad team competitive i don't like to post that um this was super competitive and this was amazing so win or loss i really want to show you guys so we're gonna hop into the games here we're gonna tell you guys exactly what happened so let's get into the games and let's see what happens Okay, so it's the exact same format as yesterday. So there's five sets. It's a best of three each set. Now, this is the second game of the set. Um, th they won the first game by 4%, which is really bad. It was basically almost a base race. So um, over here, you guys can see I'm playing Barley. I don't think we had a 8-bit as the mid the last time. I think we had a BB, a Barley, and a Bull. Now, they won the first game, so they're up one nothing in total. Um, in this current set, um, they're going with a non-tank strategy, which is actually really good. Um, I had a feeling they were going to go with a non-tank strategy, but I thought they'd have a slightly different comp. You guys see I pushed back Crying Man a little bit over there. I'm able to get the kill on Jack. I was able just to hit that last shot, but Crying Man is doing a really good job at keeping me back. He hit me two times over there. I tried to get a little bit aggressive because OG gave me turret. Um, but I wasn't able to capitalize very well. So you guys can see Tyrant is just chilling over there on the right side. He has his, uh... He has his charge, but he didn't want to go in too early because of um, Chepo, who is Dylan, I need you, and Slash defending. So he's able to do some percent, but I'm pretty sure he got his uh, super back. So myself and Crying are still going at it in the corner. The issue for me is I feel like he has a little bit of a better angle, and at the same time, um, you have Jack kind of just chipping with that spike RNG, so it's a little bit hard. So we kind of switch sides over there. OG got put onto the... Uh, Onto the barley. You guys can see Tyrant's just going to dash up on that left side. I went to go follow him. I'm pretty sure Jack didn't know that I was in the bushes. I thought Jack would be aware. He wasn't. We're able to get kills, so we're doing some damage over here. Cryman came up. He was going to help out, but then he turned around and went back. Um, I'm able to get a couple more shots off on the safe, so you guys can see that we're up currently 15% in this game. Cryman's going to get, I think, two or three. Yeah, three shots off. OG is going to go down over there. Not sure if he uses his respawn. No, he doesn't have a respawn over there. He's using second star power, and they start going in. So I'm able to get a kill on Slash. I'm able to kill Crying in time. Getting the Crying kill is very important. We're going to pitch, uh, pinch Chepo over here. We're going to be able to get that kill. So there's 8% left, and then out of nowhere, Slash has a BB bubble. And the BB bubble did the perfect amount of damage, literally 100 less, and, the, and the, we would have won the game. But it's unfortunate they won the game. Good play all around by them. 
I don't know whose comp I like better. I think I like theirs, but either way, um, they definitely did get the best of us in the high set. They won 2-0, so that gives them the 1-2-0 lead in total sets. Reminder, it's the first one to win three, so obviously each set is very, very important. We're going to go on to the next set here. I forgot what it was, so let's just hop into it and let's see what we get. It's very important now that I get into this game, I forgot to before, that I mentioned the bands permanently were Sandy and Tick. Those are easily the two most like obnoxious, just amazing brawlers um, in the game right now. So obviously we're going to try and ban them at every situation. Top teams usually just try and ban those brawlers. So we're, we're happy we're able to come to a mutual agreement with this team um, where, for a brawler that we can ban. So we lost the first game, uh, I think. No, we won the first game. Yeah, we won the first game. This is the second game over here. Um, so it's the gem grab set again. I'm able to pull Chepo over there, and OG's able to get that last shot. So I'm doing a pretty good job winning my lane, but at the same time, it's an 8-bit, so it's a little bit more difficult. Jack's going to do a good job putting his turret up there because it allows him to go back and gain position. Uh, good jukes by him over there. I'm just over here taking out the turret. Um, so it's one to nothing currently in the, in the gem grab set. I'm pretty sure these are the only games that I had to skip. Um, just because, again, there wasn't a feature or an option for us to replay, so I'm able to get the kill on Jack. So it's 2-1 to one on my lane, I'm beating Jack. Tyron's having a lot of difficulty with Slash over there, which is an issue. In the, in the previous game, um, I had Slash on my lane, and he actually hit me one total time in the entirety of the game. So that was pretty, <laughs> that was pretty interesting. But um, anyways, we're going to the left over there. I missed my pull. Which I probably shouldn't have pulled, I probably should have saved it, but it could have been game changing. There's just no play that we could really do over here. OG's going to be able to get the 2 tap, but I mean Slash has the shield BB, there's basically no way we're going to be able to get the kill. At this point I ask for a call out about which side Slash is on. Tyrant um, last saw him top left, so I moved up, uh, got into position, held down my super, went for a super on the top left. Slash goes from the top right. <laughs> and start spitting. Uh, we have a little bit of BM with each other, which is totally fine. I mean, at the end of the day, um, BMing necessarily isn't the nicest thing, but when it, we're, we're a group of friends. You know, we BM each other. It's not really that big of a deal. So it's currently one to one in the set. Um, and this is a really, really crucial game that we're about to get into. If we lose, then that means we're going to be down 2-0 in sets to a very good team. So it's going to be extremely hard to tie, or I mean, to end up winning it to win three straight sets. And if we win, then we tie it at 1-1 one one, heading into modes that probably are more favorable for us. So it would probably give us a little bit of a momentum boost. Anyways, huge game coming up. Let's hop into it and let's see what happens. So here we go into the next game and it's going to be... We're going to switch up the comps. We didn't feel like the Gene did enough, even though I went 2-2 on lane. I can understand why... Um, why I why my team feel like I didn't do enough even though I won my lane I didn't really help with the mid or the other lane anyways I'm gonna be put up against slash again he's gonna be on the shield BB Tyrant had a lot of difficulty with the shield BB last time so I decided to go on it this time I'm using Bo's vision star power so I know exactly where he is I put my minds in the middle because I'm on lane with slash so I mean it's it's probably gonna be an easy win it doesn't really matter he's just kind of walking around doing whatever he wants, and I'm able to get close enough to where I can auto-aim him. OG and Tyron are having a tough time with their lanes. They're both going to go down. And you know how I said in the first time Slash only hit me once? Um, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same this game. He hit me one time over there, and if I'm not wrong, I'm pretty sure that's the only time he beat me. So even though I haven't won my lane, I've basically controlled it for the entirety of the time um, while Slash has been getting lane help. So over there, I'm finally able to win it, so I can come over and help in the mid. But you guys can see Tyron and... Um, OG just aren't really doing the best at the moment. It's a, it's a little bit mostly because Chepo is pushed up really, really hard on that right side. So it's hard for OG to kind of gain position when he has an 8-bit shooting at him. But either way, I move up top. I'm trying to get behind them and shoot away. But there's really nothing I can do because my teammates both went down. I was going to try and go from the top and pinch them and try and have someone kill them from the bottom. But there was nothing that we could really do. OG went, goes for the snipe against Crying, he's able to hit it over there. Tyrion is waddling up as fast as he can. I'm trapped in this corner, it's no way a player like Chepo is letting me leave there. I got three shots, it's like the most I can get. Slash is just chilling on that top right. Uh, Tyrion's going to move over there, he's going to go for the shots. He's going to be able to take out Chepo last second, but Slash just goes into the middle. He starts spinning, he knows there's, uh, there's just no way that I can kill him when he has that shield up. So anyways, we are down now 2-0 in sets. Obviously, it's not looking very good. Um, 
we really want to beat these guys. Even more than winning the tournament, we want to beat these guys just because they've had our number as of late. And um, to be frank, you know, it, this tournament is more about preparation for Sunday than it is about winning the tournament. So, I mean, getting swept by them or losing 3-1 or losing 3-2, that isn't ideal. That doesn't help us prepare. That doesn't help us figure things out. Um, so anyways, let's hop into the next set. I believe it's Brawl Ball or Siege. I'm not very sure. So anyways, let's hop into it and let's see what happens. So here we go into the next game. And we had a little bit of trouble choosing this comp, but we ended up going with the Barley, the Rosa, and the Jean. So it's a little bit out of, out of the ordinary when it comes to Siege comps. But anyways, we're going to get into this one over here. This one's basically a must win for us, or else we're really going to be pinned against the wall. So anyways, we're just chipping the middle over here. All the bolts are spawning in the middle right now. This is a very open map, so usually pushes do really, really well. Uh, I'm very close to my super, so is Jack. Tyron is playing pretty well on that right side. He's holding back slash really really well and OG's doing a fairly good job against crying man I'm like one shot away uh, here away from my super so I'm just trying to get it off of crying so I can pull the bot I'm able to get my super so I just go to the corner they do know that I'm gonna go to the corner really good play over there by OG to get batted into water I'm gonna pull the bot uh, Crying's gonna come in and try and kill me I tried to get to the open just before uh, crying got his knockback but I wasn't able to do it so crying was able to get a good kill over there Tyrant is doing a really good job at holding his lane um, he's able to get his super and he's going to get pulled over there. Um, I have crying on my lane, but they're dominating pretty well. OG's just chilling on that right side. Um, I'm just trying to get my super and run away. I have my super, so they're trying not to get close to me. I'm able to juke away from crying. Chepo's going to pull me, but kind of a waste of a pull. So I just decided to pull him towards myself uh, and get that kill. So we currently have four bolts. They have two and we basically got to get this defense. So with Ch with Chepo just spawning, Slash is a little bit late and crying on one side. We're able to pick up the bot super, super early and we're able to defend it really well. Their team decided that they're not going to go in and they're just going to try and like chip away. So Chepo's just trying to get a super basically. Um, Tyron is shooting on that left side. He's trying to clear the way and trying to get Crying Man uh, lower in HP. I'm going to help him out. I'm going to get a really crucial pull over there on Crying, which is A, going to give us a kill and B, uh, give us a bolt. So they're kind of controlling that right side over there. We're controlling the left. It's basically a fight between me and Chepo over here between who can get a super and make a play. Slash is going to dive over there. I'm able to pull Slash and get the kill. And that is going to be, be because of that kill, we're basically able to confirm the bolts. He wasn't able to get that bolt on left, and that's going to give us the last spot. So it's a 5% right now uh, for what we have. I'm going to pull Chepo so he's not able to pull the bot. And at this point, it's really easy. Tyrant literally just has to super the safe. You guys see they're able to get one shot off over there. Tyrant supers the safe. He's able to hit it. And from this point on, that's a dub. So they start spinning um, at us. And, uh, and yeah, that is going to end the first Siege game. So we took that game. That was a really important win. That gave us a little bit of momentum. We we're really happy with the way we played. Uh, Gene usually is a decently risky pick on this map. Um, but we decided to go with it. We usually don't. And we're really happy that it ended up paying out or paying off so usually what happens is teams change comps in between games i haven't been showing a lot of that in this video but it does happen a fair amount so we're we're really deciding both teams whether we want to change comps or not everyone's like clicking on brawlers trying to show that they're changing brawlers but sometimes staying the same it's a really complex way of choosing brawlers actually so anyways let's hop into the next game which again very very important game every game is super important from here on out let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened so here we go into the next game both teams took a very long time to decide their comps but at the end of the day we both decided to stay the exact same we we're both happy with the way we played i think they thought that they could have win if they they could have won if they made a couple more plays and we feel like we could have played a little bit better so we were happy with our comps um where me and chepo basically are just trying to charge our supers at this point in the game and then you can see OG and Slash are going at it. Um, Slash is able to get the bolts over there. Chepo spins, he's going to get a pull on me but I don't think that was a very good pull to be honest. He didn't really recharge it that much. I guess OG just recharged his super. But it gave me my super. So Chepo's spinning over there. He's going to try and go for the pull on me because I'm going to pull the bot. I'm going to have a good defensive, uh, we're going to have a good defense if I pull the bot. So anyways I'm just chilling. I'm able to pull it over there. I'm able to get one shot off, no, two shots off on Slash, which is able to charge my super a little bit. Um, the bot does do a pretty good amount of first wave damage. It does 33%, which isn't bad. Um, Chepo's trying to pull me. I knew he was going to try and go for the pull, so I was able to um, kind of just back off and get out of the way. Um, now I have my pull. I'm able to pull Chepo, able to get that kill. So 
that's really good over there. Slash gets a bolt and just charges back like completely for some reason, which just gives up area control, which was really strange, I thought. I'm able to take out Crying Man over there, and then myself and Cheppo both have our pulls. So it's very interesting. And Slash dives back, which is super interesting because they're about to have their push. So they have to have as big of a push as possible. Um, we haven't, we weren't really picking up the bot too, too early. So I got to go to the corner. I got to hit this pull on the bot. I'm able to do so. And, uh, and they back off. So basically, this is a very deciding point. I know Jack was really, really mad at this pull over here. We spoke about it a little bit after the game. He believes that... Um, if he hit that pole, this game would have been totally, totally different. But at this point of the game, I mean, it's basically a tie. They actually have a one bolt advantage. We're able to take out Crying over there. I'm doing a pretty good job over here on Slash. I'm going to go down, but I did a fairly good job on that right side. And OG picking up that bolt was the most important play of the game. Because you can see his bolt is going to cash in instead of their bolt cashing in. And that gave us one more bolt. And then they had what well, we had too, but even if they got it, you know, it would have been a tie. We wouldn't have been able to do this. And that gives us the bot. So Tyrant's going in with super. Uh, Chepo's going to get a super. Again, he's going to miss Tyrant Star. Tyrant's going to get a super and shots off on the safe. And that is going to give us a siege set. So anyways, Jack feels like he threw with two missed, uh, with two missed gene pulls. I told him he played pretty well. Um, and I, I definitely didn't mean that. He definitely did play very well. He's definitely playing the best on their team for the siege set. But I, I believe that if Slash timed that pull a little bit better or his dash a little bit better, then there was no way OG would have been able to pick that up. So that game definitely was on Slash's shoulders for them. And he kind of costed it them, uh, costed them that game. So it's 2-1 to one in sets at the moment. We're going to be going into the next set, which is either Bounty or Brawl Ball. I'm not pretty sure, but I believe it's Brawl Ball. And it's a pretty interesting map. It was on Pinhole Punt. Um, that is not a map that's on ladder at all. It was removed from the game and recently added so we haven't had a lot of practice on it Neither have they um, so we're kind of just thinking of comps just like From the top of our heads again if we lose this set then it's over But we're very very confident in our brawl abilities. So with that being said, let's hop into the next game and let's see what happens Okay, so here we go into the first game of Brawl Ball, and we decided to go with an 8-bit mid, as did they. And then we decided to go with a shield BB lane and a Shelly lane. Now, I know if I'm on lane with Slash, no issues whatsoever. I told him just to focus on their lane. Slash is going to get a hit his missed uh, BB over there. I'm able to knock him back. It's basically a game of who can get more knockbacks and charge their super more. Uh, Slash is able to give me a knockback over there. Uh, he's going to get me into a corner. He definitely swung way too early. He had a really easy kill on me. Just, he couldn't get it, though. Tyrant is going to go down. OG is going to get a kill and also go down. He's using the first star power. Um, I'm able to hit Tyrant over there. I mean, slash. Tyrant able to... This is probably Tyrant's best play of the game. Really good defense over there. He's basically able to get both kills. I, got, I used that bubble and I was able to identify where Slash was. I go for a shot over there, but I wasn't able to get it. Slash was thinking about going in for a goal. He elected not to. He's going to miss his uh, shot over there. And I'm going to just sneak up onto Crying Man, be able to get that kill. And I had a really good bubble, actually. So I'm just going to pick up the ball. I almost had an angle, but Slash came back just in time. Really good play over there by Slash. And we're able to just take out their turn. So we have really good positioning a minute into the game, and nothing really has happened when it's come to scoring chances. We both had a like, really good one, but that's it. Slash is being a little bit like antsy. He's like a little bit undecisive with what he's going to do. And he had the same movement pattern, so I was able to get the shot off on him. I'm able to hit uh, Cheppo over there once and get the kill on Cheppo. I also had a really good bubble over there. And so it turned into a three on two. Unfortunately, though, we're not able to make too much of it. Um, Tyrant has Shelly Super, which is really good for goal scoring. But he's being a little bit passive with it right now. I'm on this right side. I didn't want the ball. I was going to sneak up and kill Crying. But I got past the ball, so that obviously didn't happen. Good Super over there from Tyrant. He was able to get the kill. Um, OG's trying to laser Crying. He tries. We get a good shot attempt, but good save over there by Jack. Um, he was able to stop that goal. And OG's just going to try and retreat over here. Slash is getting close to him. OG's calling out over here that he is going to die. Uh, he did some good damage over there, nonetheless. Um, and we're going for Crying over here. We're juking a couple shots. Crying is a very good spike. He's known for his spike play. But we're able to get him into a corner here. Going to hit him twice. Going to be able to pick up that kill. And we're occupying now Chepo's time, which is really good. It lets OG waddle his way up the map with that brawler. Anyways, we have the Shelly Super, which is... It just breaks walls, obviously. So it's very important. Uh, I have the shield, so I'm letting my teammates kind of just melt the opposition. At this point, I'm telling Tyrant just like kind of go for a kill. So he starts using his super. He's doing really good. OG's able to take one out. I could go for a shot here, but instead I'm being patient, just holding on to the ball, letting my teammates do the work. 
and just putting it in the net. So that was a huge, huge, huge game. It's super important. We're able to come out with the dub over there. Um, I feel like they might have had the counter comp to us because we had the BB on BB and then we had Spike on Shelly and Spike obviously counter Shelly. So definitely a good game on our part. We definitely got out with the win just based off of our Brawl Ball gameplay, which, you know, you guys are excited for that video to come out. But we're able to get that dub. So let's go into the second game. Hopefully we can take the set and go... Sorry, hopefully we can take the set and go on to Bounty and see what we can do there. But we still have to win one more against this very good team. So let's see what happens and let's hop into the next Brawl Ball game. So going into this next Brawl Ball game, um, we decided to run the same comp, but instead we wanted to have the Shelly on the BB and the BB on their Spike. So Slash is going to go straight for the mid. He's going to get a shot off on OG. I'm juking over here. They don't really know exactly where I am. I'm able to get a shot off on Jack. I'm able to get that kill. Unfortunately, it's going to cost me my life, but I did get rid of their extra life, uh, which Jack had. So that was definitely really, really good. OG's just chilling over on the bottom. He got a kill, but he's low in comparison because, you know, he didn't use his extra life. He's not using that star power. So I didn't really, I really didn't like the position where the ball was. So I just kind of picked up the ball so I could figure out where everyone is because they would start shooting at me. And I just cleared it away and moved back a little bit. Slash is going to use the super. He's going to get two hits on OG over there. It was a decent super. I don't really know if it was the best one. I used the double bounce over there, but unfortunately OG is going to go down and Krang is going to put that ball in the net. So they scored pretty early, only 50 seconds into the game. So we're just trying to do our own. We finally got the matchups we wanted over here. Although Spike versus BB still isn't the greatest for us, it's better than just Tyrant getting countered. Um, they do switch back though, so smart play on their end. Uh, Slash backs off over there. We get we get into a fight over here. He's able to get the dub. In that BB 1v1, he got the first shot, which is the most important shot. So good play over there by Slash. He's going to walk the ball up. He didn't know Tyrant was in that bush. Tyrant went a little bit too close. That ball literally went straight through him. But fortunately for us, I spawned just in time, so I was able to get that save. Um, I pushed the ball up. I gave it to Jack just because BB should not be, or not BB, sorry. Apit should not be handling the ball. Slash goes for a shot over there. It didn't do much, but it did connect. Uh, I circled the corner over there, tried to get a hit, wasn't able to do it. I ended up getting one, but it costed me a ton of HP. So I'm just juking over here, trying to stay alive. Tyrant's going to get a pretty good super off. Um, I could have killed Dylan over there, or sorry, not Dylan, Jack, but I decided to save my super instead, which was good because I ended up getting three hits over there, let my teammates get back up the field. So we only got 30 seconds left in this game. OG's able to get two kills over there, so we're looking really good. Slash gives us the ball and gives Tyrant star super. And at this point, um, I want to give Tyrant the ball so he can do a Shelly goal, but he doesn't really want it. So he's just going to break open all the walls. Um, at this point, I'm just trusting my teammates to get kills because there's not there's no really play that I can do. I want to pass the ball, but they don't really want it. At this point, there's nothing I can do as um, as Tyrant goes down. So I give OG the ball for a last second, like desperation super, but there was just no way he was going to be able to get that goal. So that is going to end that game. It's going to be one to one in the current set. So super close. If we lose this next upcoming game, then we lose everything. And if we win, we bring it to basically the equivalent of like a game seven in the NBA or a game seven in the NHL, the very, very end of the finals. So anyways, let's hop into it. Let's see what happens. And hopefully we can end up with this dub. So here we go, going into the Brawl Ball set finals, huge game. You guys already know that. And you guys can see Chepo's having a little bit of movement difficulty at the start. I think he had a little bit of a connection issue going on over there. Um, he decided that he was going to be playing BB. They weren't really happy with Slash's gameplay, I suppose. Um, and I switched over to Spike. You guys can see he's still having a little bit of difficulty over there in that corner. So OG's gonna get a kill on Slash because it's Slash. And OG is going to walk forward and be able to get that kill. And again, he's having difficulty. Um, and he's lagging a little bit. Now he's back in the game at this point. But the first goal was really unfortunate. Um, basically Bruh. charged all of our supers. I'm not the greatest, Spike. Please don't roast me for my supers. Um, I'm able to like still push back crying over there. But not too, too well. Because I obviously want to get the kill. I'm able to get the uh, super on Tyrant. OG gets the ball. Or uh, crying. OG gets the ball and he supers it in. Now that game was super, super unfortunate. Um, I apologize. I don't really apologize, but I kind of feel bad for Jack. Just because, you know, this game is important. We want everything to be played as full out as possible. And even though he wasn't totally AFK, he wasn't a bot at the end or something. He still, you know, he wasn't there for that first goal. And that definitely changed the game. So it's super, super unfortunate for them. But obviously fortunate for us. The chat seemed 
to not care about it because we're going into a finals in bounty lair cake which is in my opinion the best competitive bounty map just because there's a lot more options than most bounty maps so we're going to go into it the final set against you know arguably the best team in north america it's best team against best team here so it's obviously super 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 intense so we're going to go into the bounty set and let's see what happens now going into this um unfortunately friendly games still are kind of broken we lost the first bounty game i wasn't able to record it um and we're down one nothing here so if we lose this game we are out and it is over um tired star was a bot he went out straight away he, literally you can go back he literally just walked up he was a bot he just died i'm able to get the kill over there on jack but uh crying comes out of the bushes and hits a snipe on me um they're playing barley lane which you don't normally see here pretty interesting pick um, I'm asking OG where they are. He says both of them are in the corner and he's continuously spamming that right side So is tyrant. So I know one of them hundred percent is in that corner. I'm holding my super um, I see them like kind of move and chill a little bit So I'm holding my super I know someone's there and I get the pull over there on Jack Which is a huge pull that ended up tying the game. You guys know how slow bar uh, bounty is So if you're able to get one kill that really changes the game. I get my super again and I don't think they know about it. I'm not a hundred percent sure Jack still has a super. OG's tapping Jack over there. I'm going to move towards the mid. Um, it looks like they switched sides. You guys can see Jack is running towards the mid over here. I'm able to get some pressure on. And he's pretty low, so he's going to have to run back. <clears throat> and they're now on this left side. So I can't go that close. Because even if I get close, A, I'm going to get tapped. And B, I'm going to get pulled. It's 100% of death. And you're not allowed to die right now. Zero death! This is the point of the game. No deaths allowed. Um, and, you know, the right side just being worked. Chepel's going to go down to a mix of Tyrant Star and OG, so great play over there by them. Um, I'm just chilling over here, holding back Crying, and if I can hold back Crying, I know Chepo and Slash with Barley and Jean are no way beating a Brock and Barley, so they're just going off. I'm continuously holding back Crying, no way that they're going to be able to hit me. Um, I do waste my pull, I thought I would 100% hit someone there, so this is definitely a waste of a pull. But anyways, they're backing us up into a corner over here. Um... I'm kind of throwing my life away because I only have two. It doesn't really matter. I bait out Chepo's pull and I say, you know, it's cool if I die. But either way, I'm going to be able to pull Chepo. Uh, Tyrant's going to go down, but me and OG are able to secure one more kill. And that gives us the win. So that brings us to the very last game. It is one to one in the very last set. Winner wins. And this isn't the finals, but this feels like the finals to us. I mean, both teams kind of have this rivalry of being the best team. So obviously it's super, super intense. Um, we're trying to figure out our comms. We're trying to figure out that everything is played correctly. Um, the VC, like the voice chat, is just basically super quiet. You know, you you know, we're just talking to each other, trying to figure things out. But everyone is super zoomed in and focused. So, anyways, let's hop into the last game and let's see what happens. Now, going into the last game here, they decide to switch up their comp and they decide to go with a Brock instead of a Gene. I think I've out Gene'd Chepo um, in the four games that we've both gone Gene. So he decided to switch off of it and go with a Brock. Not a bad pick. OG's going to go down straight away. Tyron's able to hit a good shot over there. I'm able to get a little bit of a spray. And I'm able to pick up the kill on Crying. So it's a tie game right now. Um, OG's kind of just chilling in that middle grass. And so is Jack. Um, I'm just like running back, trying to hold my own. And at this point, this is, this is the worst thing in competitive. Like, I hit... <laughs> A hair gets on my screen and I was like what like like get off so I'm trying to like spray it off and I get hit by two Brock shots at the time um, so that, <laughs> that definitely sucks so me and Chepo are kind of in a poke battle over here uh, crying moved up to an aggro position slash is pushing back Tyron a lot and I'm just chilling here with Jack I'm able to hit one shot two, three and I survived with 101 HP so obviously super huge moment in the game as we were getting backed up and if they got that kill it probably would have been over for us so Jack is walking towards the middle over here. He's going to use a super. I'm going to juke it and go to the left, but I lose my walls, which is obviously super important. I'm able to pull uh, Dylan over, or sorry, not Dylan. I keep calling him Dylan. I'm able to pull Jack over there. So that gives us a seven to three lead with 41 seconds left. Um, so this is getting a bit intense over here. We're kind of getting backed off into our spawn. Tyrant's not able to do much against Slash over there. A uh, good tap over there by OG against Crying. I almost was able to get the kill, but he backs off. OG's going really aggro over here. Um, I'm trying to get a pull, but I'm not able to do so. Uh, Crying is basically just stuck in the back. And I go over to Slash's lane because I want to get Slash. Chepo goes down to OG over there. We're dealing with Crying. Uh, he's hit twice. 
Tyron's going to super him, which is going to back him up. I want the pull on Slash just to confirm the win, but, you know, it's not going to happen. It's fine. Not going to feed anything. Tyron gets a kill. He's going to spin, and that is going to end probably the most intense and competitive um, series. Just maybe probably the second most competitive series I've probably ever been a part of and most intense series I've ever been a part of. Um, it was definitely super, super intense. I'm it was amazing practice. Um, really, really good. Again, GG's to the other team. They're an amazing team. And we're probably the only teams that can really push each other to the limit when it comes to uh, an event by event basis. So huge congrats to them. Um, this is the semifinals of the tournament. Um, to recap the finals, we ended up going against Tribe. So like Alex, second best, Usain, and Feli. And unfortunately, we lost in the fifth set. Um, I'll put it up on the screen. It was 33 to 31 in favor of us in Siege. Again, same situation. Last uh, last game, we were down 1-0. So if we win this, we bring it to what this was. So the final game. And here is the image right on your screen right now. It's like that is not touching the safe, right? Or, or the Ike. There, there is no way that that is touching it. But, but somehow that shot connected. Um, amazing shot by Alec. OG had that that Ike covered. If they if he missed that shot, we would have won and would have gone into the next set. Um, with one second left on the clock. So huge props to Alec. He's probably going to make a video on that set. So definitely head over to his channel and check that out. But yeah, that is going to be the ending. We ended up coming second place. But I mean, it was, in a, it was an amazing set. Um, the, the finals is in two days on Sunday. This event was on Thursday. So it was an amazing, amazing preparation day. But anyways, that is going to be it for the video. Again, I apologize if the Bravo video isn't out, but there is no way I was going to pass up on showing you guys this amazing, amazing set. I promise you it will be ready for tomorrow. So get excited about that. But anyways, that is going to finish the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was very OP. It was very epic. And that is going to end it. I hope you guys enjoyed a ton. I will be back with some amazing content tomorrow. I will catch you guys later. Peace.